All right guys, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've made a, a fish related video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the rock from my old tank. As you can see, I've got it all there. We've picked up a secondhand Red Sea Reefer 250, which is currently just being leak tested at the minute. Obviously needs a good clean out, but we managed to pick him up uh, with the sun. Um, stand and tank was 100, uh, 100 pound. So a bit of a bargain, and we're going to be reusing the rock we had from our old tank. I've picked up here a barrel. It's about 220 litre food safe container uh, with a lid that we've got down there. And then we've also picked up a few litres of bleach. Oh, so we've got some bleach here to go in. Now, as you can probably tell, we're in the garage. I wouldn't recommend people doing this in the garage because of the fumes that can be released uh, when you're using the bleach. Now, I come in here most days, so the uh, the air will be circulated, as well as the fact that above here, there is nothing. So I don't see any risk with the, uh, the fumes getting into the house or anything. So what I'll do, I've got a pump in the bottom of there. I'm gonna dig that pump out, and I have a pipe somewhere out here. I'm gonna attach this pipe. The pump will go at the bottom of the barrel. The pipe will come up and the rock will fill it. So let me just start on that and I'll get back to you once the uh, the pump's in there. So just a quick uh, quick little update of where we got to. So we got the pump, as you can see, in the bottom of the barrel there. The pipe attached to it, obviously it's not gonna be coming out of the barrel. It's gonna be angled back into the barrel so that the water circulates all the way from the bottom back up to the top. Now, I didn't explain in the last little clip uh, why we're actually doing this. So the idea behind it is obviously this rock was from my old aquarium. Uh, some of it from even older aquariums that I don't have. And it's obviously got a lot of dead organic buildup inside the rock, on the surface of the rock, beneath the rock. Uh, and what it is, if you put it soaking in bleach, the bleach will actually oxidise the um, dead organisms and effectively clean the rock for you. There's well, a very interesting uh, video on BRS TV where they show the effects that giving it a, a bleach bath before use uh, shows. And uh, after watching that, I thought it's probably the best way to go um, and the safest. I know some people use uh, acid, but I don't feel very comfortable using acid. So I think bleach, as long as you're wearing some marigold so you don't get it on your skin and some old clothes, Obviously in a well vented area, uh, I don't see any issue with it. So I'll carry on putting the rock in and I'll update you once I'm done. All right, so there we go. As you can see, all the rock is now out of the uh, containers and inside the barrel. All in there and we'll get some water now, fill up the barrel. Uh, and then it's time to add the bleach. So let me go and get the hose pipe and we'll fill him up. All right guys, I've got my hose pipe and I'm ready now to start filling him up. It might take a while, so give me a minute and I'll be back. Now this is just normal tap water, nothing special. You don't need to use RDR water for this step. And I forgot to mention before I did this, I also gave the barrel just a quick rinse out to make sure there was nothing left in there from the manufacturing process. I'll let that fill and I'll be back. Okay, that's the barrel now full of water. Well, not full. So, they recommend online from what I've read um, a 1 to 10 ratio of water to bleach. You don't want the bleach with any fragrance or any scent in it, you want just plain bleach. Uh, so, this container here is 230 litres and I reckon it's just over halfway full. Uh, so I'm going to say there's about 120 litres of uh, tap water in there, which means I want about 12 litres of bleach. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll set the tripod down here, I'll take my bleach and I'll start to add. Obviously, be very careful when adding bleach, you don't want it to splash up. All 
nice and slowly pouring it in. You don't want it to glug or to splash or anything like that. And there's absolutely no rush. That's five litres. This is half for one, so this will be my, my two litres. Now, this is a case of doing your own research, making sure you're doing it safely. Obviously, bleach is a household chemical, um, but it doesn't mean that it can't be dangerous. Uh, so, I recommend, obviously I'm not, but I recommend gloves, glasses, and old clothes. And maybe uh, some sort of respirator to stop yourself breathing in the fumes. In case of do as I say, not as I do for this one. So last five litres of bleach. Going out. So all the bleach has been added now. So like I said, it's around, around 12 litres. So it's, like I said, from what I've read online, there's no specific science to it. It's just a around a one to 10 people have found best. Um, what I'll do, I've got a lid for this. But I'll try and plug him in so the water will be flowing. It's quite difficult with one hand. There he is, so he's plugged in. Water circulating now, and I'll pop the lid on it, and that's it. We'll leave him for uh, three or four weeks to sit there. I don't think there's any set time. Uh, from what I've read, the longer the better, and I'm in no rush at all. So I'll uh, pop the lid on, and I'll let you know when he's done. So that is it. We're now finished, and you can see I've got the power cord going over, the lid on with a nice tight seal to stop any evaporation. And we'll leave him there, and we'll see the results in a month, two months. I think I won't rush, I'll, uh, I'll take it out once the tank is ready for it. Obviously, before we can put it in the tank, we need to then give it a bath in, uh, in normal water. Mixed with, I've seen some people using some water conditioner, uh, like Prime. Uh, so I've got a couple of tubs of Prime. So I think best bet, leave it to sit for a month, two months. Take the rock out, give it a rinse off, uh, give the barrel a rinse let it air dry a little bit, fill it back up with normal tap water, add some prime and leave it for another couple of weeks and then uh, we should, should have some nice clean rock ready to start cycling in the tank. So if you have any questions on this process please uh, put them in the comments section below. I'm not an expert, I've just read uh, online how to do it. Um, I'm sure there's some things I've done wrong but if you do have any questions I can, uh, that I can help with, I've, obviously I'll uh, help the best I can. Uh, stick them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. So until next time, happy reefing and uh, stay safe.